Good morning, guys. Um, for chat, please we'll solve this problem up on the board. Pause and play when you're ready. Here we go. Order of operation says. Good. That gives me two times three minus twelve. Print, uh, order of operation says. Word of operation says? Left to right. This gives me? Which gives me? Negative one. We're good. Are we good? Awesome. Okay. Um, so today we're sort of, I mean, it's still talking about expressions, but we're going to go into equations more today. Um, so first let's start off, let's officially write down the difference between equation and expression. We've already talked about it, so you all should know. What is the difference? And they don't have the equal sign, whereas equations do. Very good. Um, I am going to give you a more mathy definition, just so that it. Um, so for an expression, it is a combination of numbers and operations. Of numbers and operations. Okay, as we've explored, um, especially last week, it may also include variables. May include variables. And we, what do we use for those variables sometimes? X or some other letter. Okay? So, a numerical example of an expression. Someone give me a numerical example of an expression. Example of an expression. Uh, well, okay, so I need numbers and operations. And I just want numbers. Hockey, which. Okay, we're going to take out the X because I just want numbers. So 5 plus 6 minus 3. Is that an expression? Yes. Uh, algebraic, that's when we throw in the number, the letters or whatever. So I could say 5 plus X minus 3. Okay, are we good with that? Okay. Um, with algebraic examples, especially when I don't have it set equal to something, I literally could plug in anything for X. But when I go toward equations, when it has to equal something, that's when an x has one value. Okay? So for an equation, again, we talked about it having an equal sign. The more mathematical version is it's a mathematical sentence, mathematical, mathematical sentence. That sets two expressions equal to each other. A lot of words equal to each other. This sign is an expression, is equal to that sign, which is an expression. Two expressions that equal. Okay, a numerical example, 5 plus 8 equals 13. It's saying this is an expression, that's an expression, they're equal to each other. If I make it algebraic, if I did 5 plus x equals 13, x has to be 8. Okay, right. Okay, so how are they similar? Be as basic as you want to be. They both have numbers. numbers. They both have Operations, they both might have variables, but, okay? So, have uh, numbers, operations, and some have variables. All right, how are they different? Equal time. Equations have equal. Okay, so we're going to transition from expressions that we focused on last week into equations, which we will look at this week. Okay, um, today's lesson is going to seem very basic to y'all, um, but the way that I am showing y'all to solve it, please, even though it might seem like it's doing extra work, it's because when we get to two steps on Wednesdays, it's going to build off of that. So right now it might seem a little basic, 
and, and just do what I what I tell you to do because when we get to Wednesday's lesson, it's going to build off of that and it's going to be very organized and, and shaped. So what we're going to look at first is just modeling. We always like to start with models because it helps you visualize what's going on with the map. Okay, so we're going to take the equation x plus 3 is equal to 5 and we're going to model it a couple of different ways. Okay, this first one, I always like to think of as either like a ballast from science class or like a seesaw at the park. Okay, at the park, this e the triangle is like where the middle is. That's going to be my equal sign. That's the balance of both sides of the equation. Okay, I always put my equal sign in that. On one side, I'm going to put the x plus 3, and then on the other side of the seesaw, I'm going to put 5. Okay, so using like the algebra style from last week, in x, we use a rectangle to represent that. No good with that. And then three positives. One, two, three. In that equation, it says it is equal to five. So on the other side, I'm going to put one, two, three, four, five. Feel good with that? Doesn't make sense? Okay. Now, again, this is the part that's going to seem really easy. And why are you doing it like this right now? Um, my whole goal is to find what the value of x is in an equation. Okay. I know a lot of y'all right now are already thinking x is equal to two. Two. Great. Awesome. I'm going to model that. So, my full goal is to get x by itself, so I want to get these three kicked off, okay? So, let's just pretend if I take off these three guys and I say bye-bye, what's going to happen to my seesaw? What's going to happen? Is it balanced or unbalanced? Unbalanced. Unbalanced. So, that one kid on the other side, he goes flying off the seesaw up a little bit, okay? You got to keep it balanced, okay? Because you don't let children fly. Bad. Okay? So, whenever I do on one side, if I took off three on this side, I need to do what on this side? Take off three to balance it off. So I'm going to take off um, one, two, three, say bye bye, and then we are left with what? We are left with x on this side, and then how many are left on the right side? Two. X is equal to two. Okay? If we're talking about the bar models, okay, we had those expressions. We had um, x, and then we extended it on three, x plus three, and that is equal to, we said, five. Okay, for it to be true, x has to be 2. Okay, this is just very similar to the seesaw. This last one's very similar to the seesaw. I'll just pile. We said x, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, I'm going to get x on its own, so you just take them off. You take off the same amount. Are we good with that? Okay. Um, how then do you want to write a word problem that can be represented using the equations in the models? If I were to write a word problem for x plus 3 equals 5, let's get creative. Marble. Okay, write the whole word problem. Who wants to volunteer a word problem? Anyone want to volunteer? x plus 3 is equal to 5. Be creative. Miss Lionel had x amount of polygons. And she does. Anyone have something? They want to share? No one has a word problem? It doesn't have to be about this title? Yeah. Um, I have X number of marbles. I have X number of marbles. Go for it. My brother gave me three more. I now have a total of five marbles. Okay, keep going. How many marbles did I have? My hammer is awful. To start. Okay, very good. So let's break that down. Did she have words that helped you understand that it was addition? What was her words for addition? More. more. Okay, X number gave me three more. And then does it have what it equals now? Total. Yeah, the total. Okay, total of five. How many did I service? That's my question. Does she have all the parts? Absolutely. Thank you, Tashi, for being great. All righty. Let's look at a different one. Okay, 2x is equal to x. 8. What operation is happening? Multiplication. So, again, with my seesaw, 
That triangle is like my balance, my equal side. On one side, I'm going to put the 2x. On the other, I'm going to put the 8. Okay, for 2x, that means I'm going to have two x's. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Starting with 2x is equal to 8. Do we agree that's being modeled? Okay. My whole goal is to find the value of x. Not two x's, just one x. So, I need to get one of those x's by itself. Okay, I'm going to take off one of those x's. When I do that, I'm taking off half of the amount of x's, right? I have half of the amount of x's, so on the other side, I need to take off half of the amount of counters. So how many would I take off with that x? Four. Four, okay? I would take off four, and then it's going to be nice and balanced. So, x is equal to four. If I plug that in, two times four, would that give me eight? Absolutely, okay? In the bar model, what do y'all think I should put in those two hot boxes? X and X, and it's set equal to, it's the same length as 8. Okay, and then as we've mentioned, this is going to be very similar to that seesaw. Just making sure, these are all types of models we've seen before on different types of tests, so we just want to expose these to all of them. Anyone else want to be creative with the word problem? Okay. Um. Okay. Miss Rudd, Mrs. Rudd had two boxes of candy bars with a total of eight bars. Does that represent the two boxes? Equal how many candy bars are in each box? Does that work? Sure. Thank y'all. How many candy bars are in each box? If you're at home and don't like my word problem, be creative. My class will talk, so I can't you just call yeah, problem with my word problem. Create your own. Can you find Are we good with that? Does that yeah. represent multiplication? Yes. Great. Awesome. All righty. So just moving on a little bit, uh, talking about some more vocabulary and just what we like to see in our equation. Um, we're going to talk about the word solution. Solutions are values that make the equation true. Each equation only has one solution because there's only one value of x that can make it true. As you get older, there might be spicier solutions where maybe more than one can make it true. But for right now, only one value can make it true. Okay? When you replace a variable with a value that results in a sentence, you solve the equation. That value for the variable is the solution. Okay, when you have problems. You find a solution. I have problems, you find solutions for me. Okay? So, if I have the equation 2 plus x is equal to 10, in your mind you're thinking, what makes that true? What would that, what would make it true? 8. Okay? So, um, that is correct. You would plug in 8 because 10 is equal to 10. But, when we write our solutions in math class, we always have to say what variable is equal to what number. Okay, so the solution is equal to, you have to write x is equal to 8. We will take off points if you do not put this x equals or whatever, because when you get into, like, next year, uh, I think you might see some either next year or in the year after. Um, you might have more than one. Uh, so the reason why we have to write, like, x is equal to 8 is because when we get into higher maths, um, in your equations, you might have an x and a y and a z all in the same equation. And if you're finding the solutions to those equations, you need to say x is this number, y is this number, and z is this one. Does that make sense? Okay, so again, today I said that a lot of this is going to be very basic, and you're like, why do I have to do it? Because in the future, we'll build off of that. Okay, so looking at that next one, 18, 18 is equal to 6x. What makes it true? 
What makes it true? Three. three. So my solution is x equals three. Very good. Okay, I'll do one of these and then you do the other one. Determine if the given value makes it each one true. So I have the equation, it looks a little confusing. This semicolon breaks up the thing. We have this equation and we're seeing which of these values makes it true. So you're going to substitute it in. 7 plus 3 is equal to 10. Is that true? If I did 7 plus 13, is that equal to 10? Not true. If I did 7 plus 17, is that equal to 10? No. So my solution is A is equal to 3. Do the next one. Pause and play. Okay. My answer is M is equal to 11. Good. What? Do y'all want to try one of these or are y'all good? Okay, go ahead and try it. I'll give y'all a few minutes. Alrighty, so on here, um, this one's a little different. You'll have an X and then to show uh, that minus one, that's when we use like the negative counter. It's equal to one, two, three, four. Again, the goal is to get X by itself. So, a way to get rid of a negative, we talked about zero squares last week, right? Do you remember those things? How do I get rid of a negative? With a positive, okay? So I could add a positive to this side, but then, uh-oh, I'm on balance. What do I need to do to the other side? Also add a positive. So I'm going to add a positive over here, add a positive over there, okay? With my mapping map, this is going to cancel, and I'm left with x is equal to... Now, is that true? You thought, if I plug in 5 minus 1, does that give me 4? Yes. yes. Okay, the models are a little weird, but after you see it, you're like, oh, that's what kind of makes sense. Okay, so over here, I honestly would put that, oh, no, you can't put that in the Order matters. Okay, I would put x and negative 1 is equal to 4, blah, 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 and the model. Uh, does anyone have a word problem? I won't write it out, but y'all tell me. What's a word problem? Again, if you, if you got a problem with my boring one, it's almost too many to go. Uh, I'm trying to give other people a chance. And I'm trying to start in a lot of goldfish. What? You had X amount of goldfish. Yeah. And then? One died. One died. <laughs> and then? Mm -hmm. Now I have four left. Now I have four left. My question is? How many goldfish did I start with? Four goldfish. You probably lost Goldie the goldfish. Yes. Okay, pause, pause. Yes. Negative. Okay, let me do that one more time. Okay, so starting with X. And a negative one. I'll put like a negative in there. So C is equal to four. One, two, three, four. You good with that? Okay. Then I said that I'm trying to get rid. I want to get x right, so I'm going to get rid of that negative. To get rid of the negative, I add a positive. Okay. But to keep a balance, whatever I do with one side, I have to do to the other as well. So I, I'm doing that different color to show my friends instead. Okay. And then that's when we said this cancels out, says bye bye, and all that stuff. Okay, for three, what's my solution on three? N, what made it true? For two, N is equal to 24, what made it true? Duani. Okay, but let's say it as a solution. N equals 12, do y'all agree? Yes, for number four, what did y'all get? So not Duani. Ava, what did you get? X equals 36, y'all agree? Gucci, yes. Gucci. Okay. So one last thing I'm going to show you is how to do this mathematically. Okay. The final does still want you to do the models, the beautiful, beautiful models. But I'm going to show you how to get away from that because I know y'all are all going to be complaining about it because you love me so much. Okay. We're going to still start with x plus four is equal to ten. Go ahead and model that. Ready, set, go. If I beat you, you're moving too close. What? One, two, three. I keep talking. Yeah. Done. <laughs> Hasn't even started. <laughs> okay. My 
goal is to get x by itself, so I need to get those four off. How do I get four off? I take them off. But oh no, children are flying off of the seesaw. Don't do it. What do I do to keep the balance of the force? Okay, four off of the other side. Okay, let's keep the balance. So I'm left with x is equal to six. Okay, so let's get to the Matthew type of it. Again, I know that as past is going to be like, I don't want to hear that way. Do it. Do it. Because when we do two step equations, it's going to be nice and beautiful. Okay, so I'm going to start with rewriting x plus 4 is equal to 10. X plus 4 is equal to 10. Again, this is going to be basic, so do the basics. So, because on, on Wednesday when we make it multiple steps, you're going to be doing it all in different orders, and if you're not organized, you're going to get lost in your own work. Okay, with my equation, I'm just like my seesaw is split at the equal sign, I'm going to split this at my equal sign. I'm just going to draw a line down the middle. Mathematically, what am I doing when I take off those four? Mathematically, I am subtracting four. I'm going to subtract four. But whatever I did to one side, I did to the other. Minus four. Okay? Balance it out. If I have positive four and I take away four, it cancels out. And I'm just left with x on that side. Bring down that equal sign. And then 10 minus four is x is equal to six. And bam, I've already written my solution. Okay? The beautiful thing about uh, equations is you can check your work before you even give it to me. And be like, I know this is right because I checked it. Okay? So, how you check it, you replace your variable in your original equation with your solution. So, at, uh, 6 plus 4, does that equal 10? Oh my god, look at me go. Okay? Try out the next one. Try it out. Try and do the model, try and do the math and math, and check yourself so you don't wreck yourself. Alright, so starting with x. Um, again, to show that we're taking away three, another way to model it is with, huh? With three negatives. Because remember, you can say x plus negative three. So I'm going to put three negatives. Okay? One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so how do I get rid of negatives with zero pairs? And so what would I do? Add what? Three positives. Okay, let's look at that. One, two, three. And to keep it balanced, one, two, three. Okay? These would zero pair out and cancel. So I'm left with x is equal to, none of those cancel out, so it's going to be equal to nine. Okay? It's a little weird. I understand that. Let's look at it mathematically. x minus three is equal to six. Again, if I don't have the model, so I'm just trying to go based off of the equation. To get x by itself, I need to undo what's happening. I have subtraction happening. What do I undo subtraction with? Addition. What did I undo addition with up here? With subtraction, okay? Operations that undo each other. So in my second step, I'm going to add 3. Whatever I want to do to one side, whatever I do to one side, that's great. And then we cancel things out. Okay, a negative 3 and a plus 3 cancel out. I'm left with x is equal to 9. So, Miss Otto, I don't trust you. Understandable. 9 minus 3, does that equal 6? Yaw. Yeah. Yaw. Yeah. Okay, I already saw y'all modeling out this one. On this side, I'm going to put 4x is 1. Okay, so I'm going to put 4 Okay? To get x by itself, I don't want 4x's, I want 1x. Okay? So I'm going to, there's a couple ways to do it. You could split up the counters with each model. So each x is going to get how many of those counters? Two. Two counters. Okay? So one, two, three, four. Each one of those with a different one. Right? This is not the way at all you would draw this model, but like we all get that. And then I'm going to take off three of them. I'm going to say bye bye. Say bye bye. And then one, two, three. Those are going to go bye bye. I'm left with x is equal to. Okay. That's a horrible model. Literally, please don't copy it. Okay. 